Mary Denise Struthers. I am the owner of Happily Married Inspiration and Gifts. And this is my pattern that I created. And I call it Poncho with Cables and Cuffs. It is a pattern that is for uh, knitters who are intermediate skilled level. So if that's you, then I'm just going to walk you through the pattern itself. So if you have any questions or that I did not cover in the pattern, please feel free to place them in the comments section below, or uh, you can visit my store on on Etsy, Happily Married Inspiration and Gifts, and uh, send a message to me there. Thank you, and let's go. Okay, this pattern is for those who are of at least intermediate skill level. So if you're a beginner, you might want to start with something that's a little bit less complicated than this pattern. Uh, if you're intermediate skill level, if you've been knitting for any length of time, this would not be hard for you at all. Uh, you can use with this pattern uh, any worsted to chunky weight. You don't want it to be too thick just so that it has that flow. In this pattern, in the picture here, I used the Cascade 220 wool heather, which is a lighter yarn, worsted weight yarn. There's also the Cascade 220 wool, which is a little thicker than the Heather. The difference between the two uh, is that the Heather colors have um, other lighter shades mixed in with it. For example, this is a dark teal, but if you could see it up close, you would see that there's also like a lighter blue green, lighter teal uh, specks throughout it. It's very, very pretty. And they have them in many shades, uh, over 200. The suggested needles are 36 inch circular knitting needles in size eight and nine. You want to also have available a 16 inch circular needle in size nine. The pattern is knitted from the bottom up and it's all done in the round, um, except for the very bottom, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, but so you won't have to worry about sewing or anything like that. But when you get towards the top, you will need um, a less inches on the circular needle. Okay, you can also find the abbreviations that are used in this pattern. The special abbreviations uh, identifies the stitches. So there's technically only four main stitches in this pattern and it's done in the 24 stitch cable pattern section. And as I said, you're gonna be working in the round which means that you're always working on the right side. So you want to remember that with the cable pattern, you will need to remember the even rows, which all you do is knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. When you're working back to front, which is usually how knitting is done, you don't have to worry about that because with the back side, you just you knit it. And so you don't have to worry about remembering. But when you're working with the round, you do want to remember that it's um, every other row is considered the right side. You are working with a, a lot of stitches. You're starting out with small to medium. You're going to be starting out with 392 stitches. If it's large to extra large, then it's 424. So that's why you need the long circular needles. You're gonna work in a two by two rib for four rows and do so working from front to back because there's so many stitches, it's kind of hard to keep it straight as you're going around. So just for this uh, first four rows, it's best to work back and forth. When you are done with that, you want to place a marker indicating the beginning of the round. And then when you're in row four, uh, just keep going around. Place a marker and just keep going around. It's easiest to do that. 
and also switch to a size nine uh, US needle. The pattern, it consists of uh, the eight 24 cable pattern. So it's gonna be eight of these. And it's also gonna be 25 of the panel section or 29 if it's, if it's large. So it's gonna be eight, it's gonna be a panel, cable pattern, panel, cable pattern, very easy. Um, I do suggest that once you start, go ahead and place markers just to help you keep track of uh, which section you're working in. All right, and then you will basically just decrease every starting on the row seven and then every eighth row, you would decrease uh, in the panels section only. So you will be decreasing 16 stitches every decrease row. Okay, you're gonna first start to decrease on row seven and then every eighth row after that, two stitches per panel, one at the beginning of the panel, one at the end of the panel um, for each panel going around. When there are only three stitches remaining in the panel sections, you're going to work only four rows in that section. After the next decrease row in the yoke and collar section are just the 24 cable patterns left. So you will have eight of the 24 cable patterns left. And you would just continue in that. If you would like for your pattern to be longer, if you're five, eight and above and you're knitting it, for someone who is at least five, eight inches or above, then you want to make it a little longer. If they are shorter than five feet, four inches, then you want to decrease the number of rounds that you would do in the yoke and collar section. So there's an indicator of how many rows you should do in that those particular sections. All right, so very easy. Uh, you're gonna come to a point where you would discontinue the cable patterns uh, all together, and, but you will see that you will be able to continue the knit six cables in, in the center. And you will do that every six rows. When you have completed the yoke and collar section, then you have the option to add a knit two by two rib uh, at the top, but it's really not needed. Um, if you want the collar to look a, a little fuller, it's really not needed. At that point, you can just go ahead and cast off all your stitches. Once that's completed, you want to knit your cuffs. And the cuffs are knitted. Uh, there are will be three cables in the front, three in the back, and then along the sides will be a one cable pattern that will come alongside here. And as you can see that you would just then knit the cuffs on, on those stitches below. You want to line it up with the two by two that's there. And you can just pick up the stitches and add it in that section uh, following the number of rows. Let me take off the paragraph here so you can see. All right, you can actually knit the cuffs separately and then sew them on. It's up to you how you will want to do that. I think it would be easier to just knit, right? Pick up stitches on at the end of the poncho and just knit from there. If you want the cables to be longer, then you can knit up to 32 rows. Um, I only did about 25 rows because I didn't want them to be that long. But if that's what you prefer, uh, by all means, it's, it's add your own creativity to it. There is also a diagram chart that is included if you actually prefer to see a chart. The 24 stitch cable pattern is uh, a repeat. You repeat every 16 rows. So you can see 
that the first row, uh, the gray squares indicate a pearl. The knit stitches are in white here. So it's pearl two, knit three, pearl four, knit six, pearl four, knit three, pearl two. All right, so you can also follow it this way. And then you can see on row three that you would do a six stitch LC. And that is described in detail on what to do uh, on page two. Okay, there's also a diagram um, of what the pattern will look like when it's completed, the inches and all of that. You don't have to worry about that too much since this is um, an outerwear garment. If you are a size small to medium, it's going to fit you. If you're doing the large, extra large, you won't have any problems. Okay, that's it. Have a wonderful time knitting this pattern. And again, thank you so much. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.